I'm Christopher Titus, and this is the Armageddon Update. To those of you that still believe in the last president, you need to face some facts, because we are on the edge of losing our country if you don't. Trump was a lazy fat ass who slept until 11, tripled the trade deficit, put farmers on welfare, screwed the Kurds, gave three U.S. military bases to the Russians while he was polishing Putin's taint, got laughed out of the U.N. In less than two years, my administration has accomplished more than almost any administration in the history of our country. <laughs> America's so true. <laughs> Broke up families, talk shit about Muslims, Mexicans, blacks, while he praised Nazis. The press has treated them absolutely unfairly. Now, in the other group also, you had some fine people. I was talking about people that went because they felt very strongly about the monument to Robert E. Lee, a great general. He clustered Trump's COVID response so bad we had 40% more deaths, gave rich people tax cuts, and ran up $4 trillion in debt. He golfed 300 plus days. I love golf, but if I were in the White House, there won't be time to go golfing all the time. I'm not going to play much golf. Paid off porn stars, was impeached twice, once for holding weapons from Ukraine. He stopped them. Oh, the second time was for trying to overthrow our government. Right here, we're going to walk down to the Capitol because you'll never take back our country with weakness. You have to show strength. He rescinded a law so mentally ill people could buy guns, put his weird robot children in the White House, and lied 32,000 times. He said the Continental Army stormed the airports. What? In June of 1775, our army manned the airport. It ran the ramparts. It took over the airport. Kofefe, shithole countries. Dude couldn't get a sentence out of his mouth. He was awarded the Broad Star and the Combat Infantry Ben Heron alone. Suspected gang members. And to delegitimize. At a reception. Heritage Protector made a pivotal foistered. And then they announced there was no buys, no. His kids made $640 million while in the White House. What did you make? Trump made foreign dignitaries stay at his hotels and went golfing at his own resorts, costing taxpayers $150 million. That's your money. He lost 6 million jobs, mused about injecting disinfectant. I see the disinfectant by injection inside or almost a cleaning. Said he was a genius and had such a good brain. Such a good brain. He remembered five words. Person, woman, man, camera. TV. Genius? Yeah, it's such a good brain because it's obviously not used much. It has low miles. Trump couldn't walk down a ramp, called our soldiers suckers, and caused a divide in this country that may never heal. Packed the Supreme Court, and now it looks like it's legal for toddlers to open carry. One, two, three, four! All the children Let them know that we care Let all the children now let's do Biden. He was handed the Trump shit show. People were locked down and jobless. No one vaccinated. Day one, Biden mobilized vaccine sites nationally, ordered billions of vaccine doses. And with our extra, we helped other countries with the vaccine. And the U.S. is now 72 percent vax. During Trump, 4,000 people a day dying. Biden, 270. Biden repaired Trump damage around the world. This is stores during Trump. This is stores during Biden. Now let's do jobs. Biden has created the lowest unemployment rate in 50 years, 3.6%. We also have 5.7% growth. Healthcare expanded for 5 million more, child poverty cut in half, infrastructure passed, NATO is united. Biden lowered the deficit by 1.3 trillion, gave us 1.9 trillion in COVID stimulus, and he's only been in office 18 months. Farmers are making money again. Yeah, that's also on Biden. Trump's stupidity shut the country down, let COVID take over. That goes away in April with the heat. The risk to the American people remains very low. Uh, we have it so well under control. I mean, view this the same as the flu. It's going to disappear. One day it's like a miracle. It will disappear. Nobody really knows. And this is their new hoax. What an addled dumbass. Biden is also seeing inflation rates higher than we've seen in 40 years, just like the rest of the fucking planet. Gas prices are high, but let's look at why. Here's the deal Trump signed with Saudi. That cut oil production, and it ran through April 30th. What a mango-hued moron. Trump's buddy Putin is trying to gas up World War III, and Biden has helped the Ukrainians hold their country like a leader does. 
Trump, by every metric imaginable, was the worst, lamest, fattest, incompetent, laziest, illiterate, treasonous piece of monkey shit we ever had as president. So you can file your Biden has dementia bullshit, because if this is dementia, what the fuck is this? So as your fellow countrymen, I'm going to ask you people, why are you still believing in this five-time bankrupt, pillow-fisted daddy's boy? A guy that took your money, ruined your country, and has us on the precipice of another civil war. Why? You know, when I first moved to Los Angeles, I got conned. I was washing my car, uh, and a guy offered to sell me a high-end VCR, and I paid 90 bucks. He told me to open it at home because the cops were always around. You don't want to be caught with stolen goods. So when I got home, in the box were three well-packed bricks. I got conned, and it's never happened again. I was an idiot, stupid, got my ass handed to me, and I haven't been conned since, ex-wife aside. Look, it's okay to admit you were taken, people. Conned, grifted. It shows character to be self-aware enough to admit your mistakes. It shows that you're normal. But you Trumpers won't do this. I want you to ask yourself, after six years now of lying, bullshit, treason, being impeached, scamming, and what the fuck is this? Are you really this insane? Please explain it to me. Why are you Republicans after getting conned for six years? Why are you still buying bricks? <laughs> I'm Christopher Titus, and this is the Armageddon Update. <sighs> Just admit it, man. You know, I'd like you to. You know, my friends grew up. Yeah, that's all right. <laughs> Let me buy drink beers. God damn it. The Supreme Court just basically said that there is you can, you can have a law that restricts guns in any way. That's what they just said today. We can that can restrict guns in, in any, any way. In any way, everybody has the right to hold a gun personally all the time. No rules. Didn't even bring up war regulated. In the, in the, in the, in the, so uh, this is this is what this is why the the Supreme Court is stacked with the right wingers. They did it. Yeah, the, they did the, it. This kind of shit. Donald Trump. Holy Donald fuck. Trump put exactly, three exactly. Supreme Court. You know, you yep. know, Donald the well, Boob all, Trump. But also McConnell said, you know, he made, he made, he, let me talk it over. Donald the Boob, the guy we've made fun of for decades. Are you that fat orange fucking idiot. Are we really? There you think. Yeah. You. Hey, everybody. Christopher Titus, Titus Podcast with me as always, the lovely bombshell Ray. <laughs> What's up, people? And, and the fuzzy Highlander. What's up? <laughs> oh, wow. We just gave him news right before we started. He's like, I don't even want to give it. Like, it can be only one. I, mean, I hope there's more than one because we need more than one. Um, just so you guys know, the Army getting update was written out of uh, anger. You know, I, we. As opposed to all the other ones. No, this, you know, it's so funny. Some of it's righteous anger. I, we Someone on Twitter, that basically was a Twitter thread that I wrote earlier this week. And, uh, and it's so apropos. They were talking to people. They were saying, uh, basically, you know, man, Biden is just fucking this country up. And I was like, you know what? I'm just going to lay it down. So in about a 10. The irony of that statement. I, Holy I, shit. I know. You mean the opposite, right? Yeah. But it was like, he's like, dude, he goes, you're delusional. Biden's just fucking the country's gone to the shit or since. And, uh, and it's weird. Here's how good Biden's doing. Biden's doing so well that we're so we're comfortable enough to bitch about how bad things are. Biden is is cleaning the shitter. Is pulling yeah. out the Trump shit so, from the toilet. Basically, yeah. Biden showed up. <laughs> is when, the plumber when, like, yes, when like ten kids dropped. Uh, it went to a, went to a, a twenty stall bathroom, dropped M eighties in the toilet, fucking set them off when they were full of shit, oh. and then they were like, "Hey, by the way, man, you're the new principal." What? <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were. Referring, oh, and there's a shooter in the hall. <laughs> right. I thought you were referring to poop as M eighties. Got it. <laughs> By the way, I am now B, going to refer B-M-80s. to poop Dropping as M80. What happened? I dropped an M80, him? blew up that toilet, baby. Go it was ahead. good. We'll repeat it. It was those are BM80s. <laughs> <laughs> nice, <laughs> nice, good. Hey, you know we started out with poop jokes, uh, deep political discussion, and poop We're jokes. On and a I roll. think I think that's our T-shirt, honestly. <laughs> um, so I, I just went off on the thread and I went down the list, and it's weird because we've there's a little distance between how. The date. Here's what we've got here. So when Trump was president, we had daily crazy. Like, do you mm-hmm. remember? Mm-hmm. I mean, yes. the, yeah. do, we, do you remember waking up and turning the news on and yep. or picking up your phone and like, oh fuck? And I've talked about this before. With Biden, we're like, it's all right. Yeah. yeah. Talking, what inflation? What gas is six bucks? Fuck that guy, dude. We were waking up every day with a guy telling us to possibly inject disinfectant, powerful light, shithole countries. Kids were in camps. We had concentration camps on the border. Our, our complaints aid to Ukraine. Withholding aid to Ukraine, so uh, that they would dig up 
dirt on his political opponent. Right. So and so so here's how good here's how you know Biden's killing it. Because it's going so well that people aren't bitching about trying to get food, which, by the way, as we toured in the Army Get Up, the stores were empty during Trump. Do you remember? It was empty. You couldn't get shit. People I were, do remember. People yeah. were duking over toilet paper. And they were stocked with they Trump were, water they, and They were duking only. over dookie wipe or VM80. <laughs> I don't know that that was his fault. I, that was obviously the... the the beginning of the pandemic when everybody was, was like, what the hell? It was his Nobody was he, he prepared. He didn't react to it. He didn't. So, okay. He definitely did not but react But I would say this. So if you know that you're the president and you know that's coming, don't you actually yeah, can't so crank It was completely chain? fumbled. Yes. Yeah, totally fumbled. And everything. okay, so baby formula. Why didn't he release a bunch of stuff from the strategic toilet paper reserve? Baby like formula. Like Biden did on gas. This is what I just think that right. sometimes you have a tendency. I just want to go on a stand up and say my platform is I hate Trump. I think everybody knows that. Mm -hmm. But I think that then we also have to blame Biden for where he has had some issues. So what happened with the baby formula? What do you mean? Well, well tell me what happened. What, what, why was why was Biden responsible for baby formula? I guess the shortage started in April. They didn't take action until the end of May. May yeah. um, and now it's over. Well, they're flying it in. Yeah, but that's two months. I mean, parents were really, I talked but, to some but, of them. They, were, they couldn't what, feed their kids. I, but, I'm, I'm, but you just backed up my point 100%. We had two years of lockdown. We had two years where we couldn't get jobs, where six million people lost jobs. And he continued to deny that it was happening. Biden gets told in April, I agree we, have with a, that. we have a baby formula shortage. I was just saying he's that like, that initial food He's like, shortage. well, I've got a baby formula shortage and I'm going to give Biden excuses right now because he was handed, he was handed a fucking bomb Correct. that was in the middle of exploding or mm -hmm. at the end of, so. A shit goes, covered he bathroom. Goes, he goes, okay, so what I've done is I've mobilized the entire country to vaccinate the entire country. Uh, I've basically uh, I've passed infrastructure. Uh, I've got voter legislation that, that cinema, I don't understand why cinema and mansion didn't vote to voting rights act. I don't get it. Um, so he, he, it's not like Biden was sitting on his ass and getting up at 11 o'clock like Trump was. And the second they were heard it was a problem, they mobilized shit and got it handled. Now I agree a hundred percent. Well, nothing was done all of April and the first part of May. Oh, got it. Got, got it. I'll give I do agree that he reacted. I'll, all I'll I was saying, and he can't up. stand this, is to say one thing might not be Trump's fault. And I mean that initial empty shelves thing because that did get better. It was that first month or two where we were going and trying to time it so we could get chicken, remember? And there was nothing on the shelves. And I don't remember that happening to that extent again. Mm, well, it happened. We, I mean, uh, even up to when we were going back on the road, I would go into stores. Remember, I'd come out and I would go, but there's no water here. When you would oh, stay home, I'd go, there's no that. water. There's, there's four, there was four bottles of water at one point when we were on. This is well after the thing was I going. remember the paper so goods I aisle. I'm going to ask you something. Okay. I don't understand. I, uh, you, there, there's a both sides thing you have going Makes on. Makes crazy. No, no, I just want to know. I, I know I'm not, it's not making him crazy because there's a both side thing that you've jumped on now. Yeah, okay. I'm, Here's why. Uh -huh. I, he, because... If you only defend a person or a party, then it it takes credibility away from all of your other arguments. If I was just thinking today on my way here, if people in my family had said, you know what, I'm a Republican, I believe and stand for conservative ideals, but Donald Trump is not a good person and he's not a good leader. I like some things that happened during his administration that he probably had nothing to do with, but he's a bad guy and we need to get back to a little bit of normalcy. I cannot support him. Then all their other arguments would have some credibility. Instead, they have zero credibility to me. I think if we sit on here and just blame him for everything and deify Biden, then we lose credibility. I think if you're you're pointing out the level of uh, yeah, the no, levels of, of um uh, the the reaction times the um, the, the level of incompetence the, the level you, you have to okay, understand that I agree. if like, you point out just the things that happened and without all the I think supporting Il Ilhan Omar and some of those crew like you were saying are like you guys you guys are beating against a something that is that that 20% or 10% of the country thinks about and you're doing it for likes and clicks those are Democrats. Also, the guy that just testified yesterday, what was the guy, that the, the Secretary of State of Arizona? Rusty Bowers. Rusty Bowers. You Say what you want. You've misread me because that dude was the first time, and sorry to interrupt you, by the way, uh, first time in a very long time that I was like, oh my God, that's what Republicans used to be. This man said there, he goes, I told, I voted for Trump twice. He said he wanted me to overthrow the election. I was like, I'm not doing it. We're not doing it. And he, he goes, he goes, my faith 
my faith. And he goes, I believe the Constitution was was uh, in, divinely inspired. And he goes, and I don't want to win by cheating. And I was like, that's America right there. That dude. Yeah. And he's a full Republican. I'm talking specifically. When you say blame Trump, I do. No, I, I far prefer Biden, obviously. I was desperate for Trump to leave office. It was the most stressful four years politically of my life. And it bled into personally, of course, we were unemployed and it was crazy. But I can also, so that all of the rest of my arguments have credibility, like I'm thinking through things, say that the way that we pulled out of Afghanistan was mm -hmm. a travesty. Now, was it set up in advance properly? No. But were there things that even General Milley said we obviously could have done better? No, he didn't. Yes, he did. No, he didn't. General Milley said flat out. I'm not, no, here's the thing. Here's the problem. I agree with you this on what you're what saying. I mean. You get so triggered. No, by, I'm not triggered. Let me just boil it down for you so that you're very clear about what I was initially saying. I don't agree with that you. That initial empty shelves thing, all I said was, I don't think that that was specifically Trump's fault. Now, as it went on, and you're telling me that later there was sh shelving problems, yes, yeah. then that's tr the, the president's fault. I just meant initially, and that's all I was commenting on. That mm -hmm. was it. But that's what I'm saying is that we, so when Biden came in, it was still going on. We had hundreds of ships off the coast of Long Beach, and we've seen, I've seen three trains in the last three, two trains actually, we just were going to Arizona that were packed with containers going to places. The, the supply chain is easing. I just looked it up. So when you talk about, gen, when you talk about Afghanistan, so here's the thing. You say, I always blame Trump. Well, the facts are the facts. Trump went behind the Afghan government and released and negotiated with the Taliban to release 5,000 Taliban fighters from that. prison. E exactly. Th and he did it after, this was after he'd already lost the election. I understand that. So you do understand that releasing 5,000 Taliban fighters, like not keeping those guys in prison, to take the government back over after he announced we were pulling out, uh, that that was 100% Trump, right? They lost 13 people. They troop moved, what, 250, 260,000 people? And they had one guy, one guy do a bomb that killed 13 people. Where was the, where was the fuck up? They got so people out. And you're no, saying and you and I even talked about this during it, and you have forgotten it, that they did not, my stepfather, the colonel who worked with Millie, even said, he, he said, right now, Army generals are banging their heads off the wall because politicians make decisions without on the ground knowledge. So it was done too quickly. He said they f should have started extracting people as soon as he got in office. We still had people from the State Department that were stuck there that couldn't get out. We also have we, we also have people that said they wouldn't leave. The extraction should have started earlier so that we could have gotten more people out in advance. That's all. There were just certain things, but you have to be able to look at even someone that you love and go. That was fucked up, but, but I still really love him and want him but in you office. you do understand if they drug it out, there's more death, right? Do you understand if they, that they announced we, this is going to be a two-month movement? They actually said for – they did say for two months, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. People didn't leave. Then they said, all right, now we've got to do it now because what was happening was the, the, those Taliban finders were released. So they picked it up to get everybody out of there, and they got everybody out there quickly. I think you've – now, that being said, to your point – Joe Biden yesterday came out and said, I'm going to cut the gas tax. Okay, uh, well, I'm sorry, a gas tax holiday. Now, on average, the gas tax is 18 cents a gallon. Gallon of gas is five bucks, seven bucks in LA. You're going to cut eight. Thanks, bro. Like, like uh -huh. it, it, it is a. It is a shitty magic trick. He's it's just trying a, to do it's, something. No, I don't. It, it, you no, know, he he. First of all, he needs to come out and go, guy. He kind of did, but he needs to come mm -hmm. out straight and go, guys. I we live in a capitalistic society. The government right now cannot get involved in a unless you want me to take over the gas companies. If you want me to, they never come right out and say stuff. Yeah, it drives you, me crazy. If you want to nationalize the gas companies and the government takes over the gas companies, which turns us into a, a communist or socialist uh -huh. country, we'll do that. But that's not what we we do. So currently, right now, market forces are forcing the gas companies to actually rape us. Now you could call them out, but it's he it's, did. But it's a joke. I don't defend him at all. I I, start, I went like this. I go, did this is your fucking plan? Why don't you just call these fuckers out for what they're doing? And so that's what's happening right now. That's the all I'm saying. It's like the reason why you respect Rusty Bauer so much is because you know that his political ideology is this, and it's really far right, and yet he's still able to step back and go, that's not constitutional, and I'm willing to burn down my entire life and career to to stand up for the Constitution that I swore an oath to. So you respect him 
because he's able, and it's not both it's, sides. It's the same with Kinsinger. He's going with what he sees as right. He it, thinks through things. It's the same with Kinsinger and, and Liz right. Cheney, where I'm like, you guys, because they've basically fucked themselves. They're done. They, yeah. uh, they understand they're done. Um, they gave up their political careers. Uh, although Kinsinger's going to run for governor, and I think possibly uh, Cheney's going to run for president. Cheney is she's had so many death threats she's had security detail oh that happened yesterday did you hear this no the entire she's had a security detail forever forever yeah entire January 6th committee because this is having this is affecting poll numbers because people are going wait wait that's how bad this was so there's going to be another January 6th against the January 6th committee (laughs) (laughs) on January 6th so that's the problem so so I agree with what you're saying you we should call all the politicians up we are in a we are in a uh, inflection point in America right now. This is not normal. This is not. This is not like even when Nixon was taken out. It wasn't like there was a coup to take over the country. We didn't have. Uh, Nixon wasn't trying to get all these people on the school boards, on the city councils, on mayors, on the governors, and then so so when he gets back and off runs again, he can get it. We are going to lose our democracy. So I am a little intense at this point because we've never we haven't been through this since the Civil War. They're trying to take the country over. And and I just read a whole thing. But do you on know elections. what causes civil war? Yeah, assholes. Yeah, and people not being able to be civil. Yes, mm-hmm. and but, agree on anything. Yeah. And so I think that's if everyone could just stop, and instead of choosing party or person, and actually think and have some intelligent thought do you actually think and I listen and actually listen when someone has a different point of view and maybe you don't agree but maybe you'll be like well I, you know well, maybe i have facts to back up that that you that you're mistaken in what you say maybe i've actually been reading for every but you, day you you argue with me on my opinion a lot and i and we are yeah, able but- other people are allowed to have a different way of thinking about something and not be wrong i that's but, all I'm saying. But that's how we're here right now. Screaming though. at each other is just, it doesn't, it's not working. It's but, just not working. Okay, here's a question then. That's how we're here though. I, my opinion, there was this, that, that legislator that, that, uh, who said, who, uh, primary said, I'm not going to certify this primary because, because quote, my, my opinion is, I don't have any evidence at all, but my opinion is no. that this was false. No, that's, that's what that's you're saying. That's not what I'm saying. But I go on facts though. The I facts get are that this. you have your facts and you think that... I don't have my facts. I have the facts. What I'm saying is the baby formula shortage should have been handled at the beginning of April. And I'm able to not deify Joe Biden and say that was fucked up. They should have done that. Just as I'm able to point to the other 100,000 mistakes that Trump made in the first 30 days. That's all I'm saying. I can agree with that. I mean, I mean, if they if they are told, I mean, we were we. I remember that report. They said they were told in April that this is coming. Um, I remember thinking, oh, you guys should have kind of maybe made a phone call. <laughs> That's all I'm uh, saying. You have to be able to go. Oh yeah, you're right. That's but, fucked up. But yes. I still support Joe Biden, and thank God he's in office. C- over- compared to Trump, j- yes. Yeah. Joe wow. Biden is a fucking angel. Yes. However, like yes. If if there's some critique, that would definitely bring in more people that are on the right that would go, oh, okay, yeah, and then start to pay attention to the facts right. if well, we can well, that, critique them. But that's what the Armageddon update was about. So, you know, I agree. Like, I don't think any politicians, we even had a politician in many, 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 many eons that we were like, oh, this guy's a, and we've, we've never had Jimmy Stewart, ever. We, you know, if you look back through the thir- 20s and 30s, we, you know, some of the guys were just flat out idiots. I mean, some of the guys, when they put Sm- Smoot Hawley through and it fucking, it fucking caused the Great Depression. You've they, now got Gillum in Florida. Gillum, who, who we a Democrat. liked. We liked yeah. him when he was running for governor. Now he's been indicted by the FBI. Taking money. Fucking, but, While yeah, he was running. The guy that we were <sighs> like supporting against DeSantis. Mm-hmm. And re- I mean, I really liked what he stood for. I really mm-hmm. liked who he was and that's like now, finding out bernie sanders took money from, <laughs> from yeah somebody. exactly yeah, it's like yeah. really yeah it's just like it really sucks the kind of people that are attracted to political life are not the people that we wish that they would be i, I think uh, well and the one thing you say about at least you can say about biden and, and biden uh, two things i'll say about biden biden right now i wish to god we had uh, someone who was competent in their 40s or 50s Right. Uh, and it doesn't seem to happen. Although I would say I would I would vote for Katie Porter in a second. Uh, I would vote. I would actually. Although I think she's getting a little shrill now. Oh, you can't say that about women getting shrill. 
No, I did mean, I just it, sound shrill? <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute! <laughs> that is like, really shrill. Honestly, that is really annoying to say. Of what you would never say a man is getting shrill like you do get shrill when you get uh, like up upset because someone's talking about Joe Biden. No, who's the late? I'm going to start using shrill to describe who's, men. Uh -huh. Please, God, I am really shrill. Yes. I, shrill and nasal. You can mm. do both. He's I, I'm I'm schnazel. <laughs> I, hey, yeah, let's go with schnazel because I'm quite schnazel. Um, uh, who's who's uh, she ran for president? Glasses, tall. Elizabeth Warren. Elizabeth Warren. Elizabeth Warren. Now, I, I mean, I, then again, it's about it's about abortion. But I heard the other day, and I was like, you got to just, you know, I you got to tone it. She pushed. She just went. To, I mean, it. You here's what happens, and it's what you say. If you go too hard, what ends up happening is people start listening to what you're saying, and they're like, Jesus, you're fucking going crazy. Which is why I'm still doing a podcast in, in my fifties. During which you go too hard and people go, Jesus, you're really crazy. Yeah, well, it's working. We're getting the subscribers are up. Hit that button. <laughs> <laughs> Some people like crazy. Some people aren't crazy and they aren't willing to scream. So they like, they want to have, I am a vent. I am a, mm -hmm. like people mm -hmm. like, oh, Gilly Titus, listen to this. Mm -hmm. Yo, would you say that? No, I would never say that. I'm not a psychopath. I find a lot of times too, if you listen to people, actually let them finish their sentences and stuff. And like that a lot of times they're not saying what you think they were going to say it's you know it's what my stepfather the colonel always said about keeping your powder dry saving it for the war not for the skirmish yeah. and so just want to throw that out there in this time of potential civil war are you texting no i'm i'm, I'm seeing why because I, I remember the baby formula was tainted and they shut that they shut that factory down it's okay you can no no i want to see i want to see why i'm not i don't want to be right i just want to know why a little bit of a War in Ukraine yeah, causes supply you know, chain issues. Mm -hmm. It's going to linger for a little. Of course. Little bit. Uh, the Check back at the end of the podcast. Second, It'll yeah. come back. To, to see After. the <laughs> anger o meter at the bottom of the screen. Here, here's the funny thing. Here's the funny thing. The plant, uh, here's, okay, this goes, this goes to guns. Uh, baby formula production plant was shut down following two deaths and four hospitalizations that were linked to bacterial contamination. Two deaths and four. We had, we had 19 kids killed in a school while they were at school and they didn't do a goddamn thing. And then the and then Supreme Court today said, yeah, the, there's a gun in, in the law in New York where you can't, you, you, you can't take a gun out onto the street. And they're saying everybody deserves to be able to defend themselves. And they so they just killed it. So basically, the, the, they, what they're saying is it, because that is now a precedent, there's basically every gun law they pass now on this precedent that they just passed can be wiped off. So right. any restriction, yes, any law that yes. has a restriction, baked in what about the new legislation that just got signed in that, the that, senate that, it's gone that they, they they can pass it but it's not but they'll pass it here's what'll happen they'll pass it some lawyer will take it to the supreme court will if file a case up, fly a case kicked, kicked yeah, yeah 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 if, if they sign it and and that's and, and here's the thing for republicans this is a good thing because they can actually go yep we voted for it oh got voted down in the supreme court they're gonna kill it they'll kill it in the next session uh we are lost. We are a, we are a worldwide joke. You know the the UN uh, two two years ago, and it's still valid. They gave a warning, a travel warning, to anybody going to America. Please have a contingency plan. It's in the UN Charter. Please or whatever they do, the ish thing they issue out for travel warnings. They said, if you go to America, travel have a advisory. contingency plan, travel advisory to get to in case there's a shooting. Uh, when you go into a place, get ready. I hope we don't have to do this in Scotland. I'm not, I mean, Scotland, like, yeah, well, someone might throw a whiskey bottle at you. <laughs> Scotch, you may, you may get hit with an orange whiskey bottle. They're going to frisk you. both of you guys. Pro Ray probably much longer, oh, but yeah, they're going to frisk gonna, you I guys. can't even wait. Well, yeah, we're going to go through customs. We're the rednecks that are coming. <laughs> exactly. yeah, we're yeah, like yeah. the Jeff Fox, the blue collar comedy tour <laughs> yeah, yeah. is coming to the fringe. Oh, God, yeah. wait till we see these rednecks. It's great, these fucking hillbillies. Uh, <laughs> we'll just keep saying California, California. Yeah. We're from California. Mm -hmm. It's different. It's very different. Everyone knows that. Um, the second hearing for the week is going on right now. Jeffrey Clark was his house, not his office was raided today um that's awesome which is awesome it's obviously a lot of things have been happening in response to these hearings happening and so yesterday was it um subpoenas were served by three agencies fbi uh j6 committee and state law enforcement against 
all of these fake electors in the different states mm -hmm. that signed on and said that they were the real electors yeah. and that Trump mm -hmm. won. Mm -hmm. So that happened after the hearing on Tuesday. Now, before the hearing could start today, Jeffrey Clark was uh, his house was raided. By they the took FBI. all his electronic devices too, which means they had to ask the judge for all his electronic devices from his house. Yeah, from his home. Um, and the J6 committee said they had no idea. They did not know that that was happening. Clearly, he's going to be the subject well, a lot today. This is a really slow Watergate. Oh man, it's just getting Watergate. Took it's two a years. trickle gate. Oh, Water did it? Watergate took two years. It wasn't. I like feel they... like it was just a Time magazine article, and that was it. We were kids. <laughs> it? Oh, we God. were like, "What happened?" <laughs> like when Nixon They're went down, we were like, "They got rid of him." <laughs> yeah. Um. No, it took two years. Watergate took two years. In fact, Watergate. We just watched a thing on it, and Watergate wasn't even moving forward until there was one letter, the the, the Crumpston letter. I or wasn't whatever. born yet. Uh, he <laughs> throw uh, that in. Throw she it just in. Just really every time. I had to go. Uh, I'm young and pretty. You guys no, are old and I had present. to go. I had to go because you guys said it was like it happened and it was over. And you said because we were kids. And then I thought, wow, was I a kid during water? I no, I wasn't. I was dead. You were not. Not dead. I wasn't. I was unborn. Right. Um. He said, you said that Nixon was reelected. Yep. So in after the midst Watergate. of all that craziness, after January 6th, that would have been like Trump being yeah, reelected. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And we're like, what? And well, he's still in office? They didn't know Nixon was involved. There was a break in at the Watergate Hotel. They didn't know. No uh, one knew yet? They didn't know Nixon was involved. The investigation started and then they found out they got a letter from Cumps. And then it, what happened was those guys who got arrested, uh, it, it just kept they just kept backtracking who hired him and Dustin all Hoffman got arrested yeah, Dustin and then Hoffman and, 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 and uh, uh, Forrest Gump had called in right. from that room across the way remember when Forrest Gump when he saw that Watergate break in do you remember that yeah, I, yeah sure Tom Hanks is shady Tom that's Hanks a long ass movie that's all I'm that saying was a shady did we talk dude. about that that movie was like did we talk about that yet four hours or something I, think we, I don't think we talked well, about it that was like a documentary. <laughs> yeah I mean let's let's move it right along we don't have that's to hit every movie. historical point Let's get to the box of chocolates and the big shoes and, and, Jenny, and the football this game. And the the this is why I can't game. watch a movie with her. Like I am so like that was a great writing twist. See how they dropped that into the last movie. It like won so, every Oscar. Like, like she's just like, move it. She's, move like, it. she's like get to the end where he so kisses the girl good, and she dies English of AIDS. Patient. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. Let's go. Yeah, where is bad. Lieutenant Dan? Give him his money from Apple. Let's fucking go. Right. <laughs> Did he so, get money from but, Apple? But watching hateful yeah, yeah, yeah. CGI no legs. Come on. Watching the hateful eight with her was like it was at one point after the admission I was like I. I, I, it was like we being in a fight. I was when like, it said fight. intermission, I went, "Oh come on!" <laughs> she yelled I was, at eight hours. She yelled I, at in the theater. I was already annoyed. I was already like jiggling yeah. my leg, checking the time, checking the time. I went online to see how long the movie was. I was like, "What the fuck is this?" Oh, I had you know eaten my popcorn by hour two. You know what else great, am I going to do? Great movie, Nobody. Uh, 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 watch Nobody. What's that? Yeah, that's great. That was the one with um, that was his face. Um, Bob Odenkirk. Bob Odenkirk. Oh, I've great. slept through Solid. that a couple this times. Some, but the beginning someone, and the end are I, I know how that movie started, though. Someone saw John Wick and was like, how do we do like a normal guy, John yeah. Wick? He's how do we sell Bob this Bob Odenkirk is great. Yeah, yeah, he's great. Also, also that you bought him in that movie. Yeah. He's not, like, after after we seen the weenie that um, Better Call Saul is, uh, Saul Goodman is, it's interesting to watch him. He owned that. Like, when he turns around, he's a good actor. He's a good actor. He's great. And th and that bus scene with those four Russian guys, when he yeah. turns around and you see a look in his eyes, you realize, oh, fuck. I remember mm -hmm. that. He button. is so confident. Mm -hmm. And then he did what, what I, what, one of the tenets of, of movies when you're the well, good guy, Says you Dennis. have you have to be hurt. <laughs> uh, by the way, this goes back to Lethal Weapon. It used to be all movies were heroes. He didn't get hurt. But Mel Gibson, uh, especially in Lethal Weapon, got his ass kicked. And he said, oh, come on. Oh, Rod, pick me up. So he was very, he's hurt. And so it made it more believable. And he wasn't a superhero. He was actually a human. Who, who, by the way, makes him actually work harder to overcome, which makes him more of a hero. So Bob Odenkirk was awesome. Just speed it up. Just speed it up. No, story. Hey, <laughs> hey, first of all, Samuel Jackson. Oh, God. He's <laughs> going. <laughs> <laughs> Dennis movie reviews. <laughs> oh, no. That would be awesome. We should do a 30-second Dennis movie review. But, but he has to get cut off every time. <laughs> he just keeps going into detail. We'll just yeah. cut his mic. Uh, every, we see Dennis everywhere. We saw Dennis on AG tea last night oh. there's there are dennis's in the world everywhere yeah dennis's are dennis's i don't mind the idea of dennis movie reviews that actually sounds pretty it does sound fun. good doesn't it we should do an mm -hmm. uh what did, what did i just see what did i just see that was really good 
Oh, go see that Nick Cage movie, um, uh, The Incredible Weight of Massive Talent. You talked about this, It I is think. so good. Tom Hanks flipped out. Did we talk about no. We didn't talk about this. Mm. Tom, you know, remember, I, I, if you guys know my comedy, and if you listen, you probably do. I did that bit about douchebag credits and voice in my head. Mm. Um, Alec, uh, Tom Hanks has the most douchebag credits. Yeah. Let me explain what I mean. Uh, basically, if you're a super you start, you build up goodwill in the public, and then you blow it like Adam Baldwin. Uh, Alec Baldwin has a lot of douchebag credits, but every couple of years, he fucking spends half of them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He just becomes a douchebag. Mm-hmm. He blows a bunch of credits. Mm-hmm. You know, but he never goes to the end. Charlie Sheen burned his out. Charlie Sheen has mm-hmm. no more douchebag credits. I think anybody, any normal person, that would react that way. Right. But when you see Tom mm-hmm. Hanks do it, it feels like he flipped out. That's yeah, a, I, that is a normal reaction. It made me love reaction. him even more. I would more. react that oh, way I, I, completely. What happened Didn't you to, like him yeah. more though? Did yeah, you think he, like, fuck yeah, dude. It was there, he Yeah. Because his wife, Rita Wilson, gets bumped. They're being hounded by paparazzi. Somebody They're pushes cool. her so He's, hard, she goes, oh. Drops her phone. And then Tom Hanks uncorks, and I was like, wow, he had it in him. Who knew? She said, just stop. And, and I or the tone in her voice, like if you and you have that tone, I turn like, who yeah, do uh-huh. I have to kill? Yeah, yeah. you. And that would have been bad. Hanks turns up and just goes, hey, back the fuck off. And I was like, oh, <laughs> he went, he went that, that was his awesome. alpha male card yeah. right yeah, there. Yeah, <laughs> he did. He dropped it. Everyone just back the fuck off. And you see, here's my, here's my douchebag credits. I don't think he, I think he got extra douchebag credits because it was exactly yes. the right time and the right thing. Yes. And you hear all the guys go, oh, sorry, Tom. We're yeah. sorry, Tom. <laughs> no one gets, no one, no one goes, fuck you, Tom. Really he, apologize, Tom. Yeah, we well, didn't, yeah. Because, yeah, so. like, you know, people went, you made Tom Hanks say fuck. Fuck, dude. Yeah. Speaking of douchebag credit, Sean Penn is on the hill today sitting with um, Harry... Styles. No. Harry the Hitler. The guy... Harry's <laughs> Razors. Harry's Harry, Razors. <laughs> uh, Harry the Capitol Harry Police Harry Officer. <laughs> the Capitol Police Officer. <laughs> Harry Hamlin. I love that. <laughs> I love that just random Harry. <laughs> Harry and the Hi, Henderson's. Sean Penn. I'm <laughs> here with Harry Hamlin. Uh, well, hey, we were just having lunch. I don't know. Capitol Harry Police Dunn. Officer. Oh, Harry. Oh, yeah. Uh, Harry Dunn. Holy crap. Yep. Uh, he's. It was just kind of mentioned. And Sean Penn is sitting next to the Capitol Police officers. Sean Penn has the this most during the hearing. douchebag credits. Yeah, it's to support the Capitol Police but officers. different kind of douchebag credits. Because you remember Tom Hanks? Tom Hanks took the COVID thing down a little bit because he got it first. And he lived. We were like, all right, Tom yeah, Hanks like, lived. Oh, we're, we're gonna, we, we were like, we'll all right, okay. okay yeah, yeah, as yeah. long as we do the right rules. Yeah, 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 yeah but uh, he got Australia COVID. It's very different. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> <laughs> got it from a sheep. <laughs> um, I think you I got um, Hobart, Indiana. COVID, I got Hobart. It looks way, way different. Way <laughs> different. Um, so Sean Penn was. Ta- Sean Penn went to see Zelensky. Uh, it's so funny. He, because- yes, he left Ukraine to come be with the Capitol Police officers oh, yeah. today. Yeah, yeah. yeah, Sean Penn is. Uh, Sean and Penn. he left. Haiti to go to Ukraine to help. It's <laughs> yes. like, dude, bring it down. He yeah, is like exactly. United Nations level <laughs> douchebag credits. Yes, with yes. A, with a white helmet. Yes. And, and yet he's so edgy that people are like, we can't make him a diplomat. <laughs> no. <laughs> They're like, no, 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 no. Don't give him a government job. Like, nah, just, we, just, we never know what's going to yeah, happen. Yeah, exactly. Because <laughs> he was kind of a bad boy back in the day, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah he was. Madonna and stuff. Yeah, he, he, he was married to Madonna for a little while and then he, he did a movie. He did, actually did a movie called Bad Boys with uh, uh, S.A. Morales that was pretty rough and he was and he was in Fast Times at Ridgemont High because the problem was Tom, oh he was the problem so with you just Tom said Hanks that all in one word he was in Fast Times High Fast Times with Ridgemont high, Fast Times at Ridgemont High if it's, the funny thing is you put Sean Penn in politics they always have that clip ah oh, some yeah. tasty ways uh, yeah, yeah. you got that yeah. and, he's like, and a cool, oh, bu- a cool buzz and cool, some tasty yeah, ways yeah some cool bud and some tasty ways oh yeah. is that what he's saying Thanks cool so. bud I yeah. thought he said all I need is a cool buzz and some tasty Maybe ways and I'll be fine I don't remember we we'll have to bring it up he's I haven't seen the movie I just know that clip how have you not seen Fast Times at Ridgemont High it's a classic. How dare you? Um, I know, right? It's as not a, really. As a comic. It's not really my style. Oh, <laughs> what was your coming of age movie then? Uh, uh, Super bad. Uh, Pulp Fiction. Oh. Coming of age story? No, that's not really. You yeah. get a lot of stabs to the my heart. My first like major movies I remember that had an impact on me when I was a teenager, where I was like, "Whoa!" was Friday and right. Pulp Fiction. So Friday would be your Friday would be your that would be your, like a stupid. You mean like a teen silly movie. Yeah, teen? Yeah, like a, yeah, like okay, a, Friday. Yeah, yeah, I watch yeah. that over and over and over. Which movie hurt you though? Which there was a movie that hurt you. There's a movie that that really cause damage because I've never heard anyone ever say I hate movies. Oh. Um hatefully. No, <laughs> you, you, you hated movies way before. No, that. I think yes. that you said that really 
sealed the deal. That movie was like... I, I'm pretty sure you said that long before Hateful Eight came out. But I didn't know you before Hateful Eight. Did it came out? When did it come out? No, she said that way before. She just she Hateful just, Eight. I think that's Ryan what I feel like. was here. Yeah, Let's but I, see. I think the, what you said Hateful is, Eight was 2015. I didn't know you yet. But you hated movies way back then because you said it way before that. That was seven years ago. It ruined it ruined my life. So no, it did not. You hated movies. I to, also did Tommy not was like was what was that one? What was Titanic? that one um, with the uh, all that Close noise encounters. in it <laughs> with the train? <laughs> Uh, with that Polar loud Express. music rah, and the guy that method acts Daniel Day Lewis who becomes a cobbler to be cut to play a shoe guy and you've mixed it up a bunch of there will, there will the be guy, source code with no Jake, Daniel Day Jake Lewis Jonah. and the train and it's like an old western the last movie 310, 310 to no. Yuma 310 to Yuma Come on, you Toy guys Story. like movies. 310 Toy to Yuma. Story. Toy Story, yeah. He isn't guessing. <laughs> Daniel Day-Lewis plays Woody, right? Oh, my God. <laughs> that that would have been, sure. been a lot different. He Daniel Day-Lewis. Uh, Daniel Day-Lewis learned how to be a puppet. He's a fucking puppet. Uh, <laughs> he got so uh, up. <laughs> there will be blood. That I, like, movie, said that. too. That's oh, I didn't. I heard Toy Is Story. Is that the one that ruined you? That one, and then remember, so in the middle of that horrendous God, movie. I love that movie. I love that movie. <laughs> That's a great <laughs> what is, what? Then what the, a great character. I love that movie. The fire alarm went off, which became a mandatory intermission against my will. So we had to leave, go outside, wait in the parking lot for the shittiest intermission ever, <laughs> and then go back inside and watch the rest of it. That movie. You know, that, that movie was a weird, dark version of Citizen That Kane, movie was really. the Toledo, Ohio of movies. There would be blood. It was awesome. Because remember, Toledo, Ohio I was so done that oh, it, this was years Toledo. ago, I'm sure before current ownership. And I was on stage and it was like show number four. And we were both like. Mm -mm. and oh, during yeah, my was, set was... the fire alarm went off yeah, oh. and rather than postpone <laughs> the agony i yelled punch lines in between <laughs> the... it, going, it would go like this to go <laughs> stay boop, here everyone boop, boop, boop. and then there'd be like a 30 second pod. my dad was a marine <laughs> officer my mom was a hippie i was raised by rainbow and rambo <laughs> boop, boop, boop. <laughs> my mom was a southern hippie she wanted peace even if she had to shoot people to get it <laughs> <laughs> That's the show. I'm in the back going, and I'm losing As my shit. As people are walking out, you're like, no, no, there was, we like, get them before. Went, it was so weird. They didn't know what to do because I kept because going. Because she kept going and was running the room, and I was like, and I'm running in the back, like, what the fuck is going on? Does someone have you a were key? laughing, though. I kept hearing you laugh. I was like, I'm getting through this material and going the, home. The current Rachel Bradley would not have, uh, would have not, she went, when you guys fix this shit, I'll be back. Guys, chill out. And you'd have walked off stage. <sighs> How did you know it wasn't real? You just figured it was like, fuck it. A fire could a not mom. have been any worse than <laughs> well, Toledo, Ohio. Got people moving. They just kept staring at her. She's like, I guess I better keep doing <laughs> right. jokes. We, boop, boop, boop. It was very funny. We, yeah. <laughs> we hated that night. That was, <laughs> that's amazing. <laughs> uh, this episode brought to you by an awesome product, Athletic Greens, which has Athletic nothing to do with Greens. Toledo, Ohio. Athletic Greens, they're healthy and they're green for you and me. <laughs> da -da -da. Wow. You know, we should charge extra for jingles, damn it. <laughs> uh, had it yesterday. Uh, you handed me, uh, so I'm sitting in the kitchen mm -hmm. doing stuff, getting ready to come out uh, to do some stuff. And uh, she shakes it up, hands it to me, boom. Within like uh, 30 minutes, I was like, oh, I just, just I, I have to be honest, a sense of ease. It's odd how you actually yes. do feel different. Yes. I find it very odd when products actually do Same what they say they're so going to do 75 high quality vitamins minerals whole food source superfoods probiotics and adaptogens that you're absorbing when you drink this i barely i put a, this much water in a shaker and then a scoop of that shake it up with the d3 and it's just like it's a shot and then i go about my day but it also doesn't i mean the one thing i like about it is it doesn't i don't i, I don't again we've talked about this to taste look i'll look i'll take Anything to help my health, as long as you make it not a chore. Yeah, Some, yeah. where you sometimes, dread it. Sometimes you like, like I've in the past, I've gotten stuff. Where I'm like, oh, this is, oh, I don't want to take. It. You know, you start to feel a little nauseous. Yes, but that it's so good, it tastes good. It's got a little bit, of, a little bit of lemony flavor mm -hmm. to it. It's like good. A tropical kind yeah, of taste. A little yeah, helps when I'm on the road. Um, helps with digestion. Packets, helps with packets, energy. People. Oh yeah, they have travel packets, um, which. You can just tear one open, pour yep. it in, and it's a lot easier than taking the you whole thing. You can also pour thing. into a bottle of water, shake a bottle, and done. Mm -hmm. um, also, the vitamin D is awesome. Uh, they have a deal right now um, that 
they're going to give you a free one year supply of that immune supporting vitamin D that I talked about that's in the dropper and five of those free travel packs that you just mentioned with your first purchase. All you have to do is visit athleticgreens.com slash Titus. Again, that's athleticgreens.com slash Titus to take ownership over your health and pick up the ultimate daily nutritional insurance. Good stuff, guys. No, uh, uh, no BS. We, we, we use it. It's also it's our, just, our advertisers. Are getting, our, our, the people that run our advertising the agency are getting frustrated with me because they, we keep getting stuff and I go, no, no. If, if it works and we use it, we'll do it. Well, the thing about Athletic Greens was before they would advertise with us, they said we had to use yep. it for 30 days. Yep. And I was like, oh, really? Yeah. Like, it's like a little bit of a challenge. Okay, mm -hmm. well, we'll see if I feel any different after 30 days. Yeah. And then after 30 days, we were like, oh, we got to take this product yeah. because this I like is a company, excellent. It, what's how I'm at my comedy? You can say, you can call me an asshole. You can say I'm intent. You can say I'm a dipshit. You can, what are you? You can say I'm stupid. You say I'm not funny. I'm like, just looking at what? Well, yeah. oh, okay. You got to give it 30 days. Yeah. yeah. You gotta <laughs> Come to 30 show. You're getting uh, better sleep quality and recovery, supports mental clarity and alertness, um, non-GMO, all of those things, um, paleo, vegan, dairy-free, gluten-free. It's You got to try it. I think it's alertnessness. When you go out and have too many drinks the next morning, I highly suggest a scoop of this. Right. Let's say to replace the part of your soul that you <laughs> lost <laughs> the night before. I did that last week and had a scoop of this, and then after I was like, "No shit!" Like it actually works. Works. Your body is gets depleted of all this stuff, and this just puts it back. So athleticgreens.com slash Titus. So can I get back to? I want to get back to my point I was going to make. I agree with you that there is a point when when whoever's running the country, whatever politician, Democrat or Republican, whoever in charge, they need to be. They need to have focus on them. Do your job. You, I think we've forgotten over the years. They've forgotten too. These, you guys, they fucking work for us. You, our tax money, I mean, it's, it's trillions of dollars every year in tax money, and they get paid. You work, you're our employees, and yet they treat us. Like we're their employees. Yeah. And that it was interesting what Adam Kinzinger snapped back to Richard Marks about, I don't work for you unless you live. Because Richard Marks said, don't district. forget, you work for me and don't ever forget it. And Adam Kinzinger goes, I don't work for you unless you live in my district. Don't you forget that. And right. Richard Marks says, for you to pretend that the votes and decisions that you make don't affect all of us right. is ridiculous. And it is. It's very true. I got to tell you, uh, shout out to Richard Marks because that dude, man, it's like he started getting on Twitter. We were we we started he started following me, and then and then we had him on the show, and he's he c continues to stand up for, mm -hmm. uh, like right. There's guys that like you just you just go that's the right fucking you know. The way that it all went down was I saw a tweet that Richard Marks right. did, who I hadn't you know thought about that said I love going to the dentist so I can hear my music, and yep. I was like, oh, Richard yeah. Marks is funny. I started right. following him, and then I realized. I'm married to him. So <laughs> I told you to follow him. And actually, it was funny today because I was getting my nails done and they were playing uh, that wherever you go, whatever you do, right here waiting, that one. And I was like, oh, you can also go to the nail salon, Richard. <laughs> He's, he is he, vehement on Twitter. Well, but it's vehement in, for the right reasons. Like some people are psycho. I mean, and I, I, and I, and I get that I, I get that I push, but I, as long as you're on the side of the right, I don't care how loud you are. Scream sanity. We say it all the time. So here, let me get to my point. Okay. Uh, the country is in, we are in such a bad, Trump took us down this road and, and you can say what you want. Trump did this. I will. Trump, okay. Trump took us down this road to, uh, to racism, uh, Nazis, some of them were good people. It, it took us, and so, and then the people that were, that had been shamed into not being racist, or at least loudly racist, became loudly racist again. There's a whole bunch of shit that happened over that, that his four years in office that we were like, what the fuck? A lot of things were set in motion. Yes. That mm -hmm. were still, that are kind of coming to a head, even now. Yeah. Right? Yeah. But we're this. still unraveling it, like yes. you said, that's why. Yeah. Because so, mm -hmm. so all the election stuff that's going on in like Michigan, Wisconsin, there, uh, 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 I mean, Georgia, there's a lot of election shit that all all these Trumpers, uh, Mastriano won the primary. They're winning in, you know, they haven't won the election yet, but they're winning. And if those guys get in office, if Trump runs in 24, they, and they're already the secretaries of state, which nobody gave a shit about before. Yeah. Nobody gave a shit. Well, well, now I'm we know their names. I'm hoping that, you know, how we're starting to see a little bit of a turn of the tide with these hearings. Yep. And in the meantime, up until now, Trump campaigned for people that are flat out campaigning on Trump won. Biden is an illegitimate president. They're flat out saying that and getting the nomination. Texas passed a, 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 yeah, a the GOP Texas platform. Yeah. But I'm hoping that as we're starting to see this turn of the tide, for example, Dr. Oz removed all of his Trump branded stuff from his website. Oh, did he? Yes. Huh. 
And so those people have been so loud about saying that Trump won and this was fake and Biden's fake that I'm hoping that that will have an effect on those elections in November. And for, and for Dr. Oz to re- remove something branded. His, yeah, no is, shit. Uh, that's a huge deal. It's <laughs> a good Fucking point. branding his, guy. His people responded <laughs> and said, no, actually, if you go all the way into the donations page, there's still a picture of him with Donald Trump. So uh, oh, but, I love that he's I love that Oz is grifting as hard as Trump. That's, yeah. that's pretty awesome. Um, so here's how good Dr. Oz was. Trump couldn't grift Oprah. Oz grifted Oprah. Yeah. That's right. how, that's, so that's scary. That's, that's right. My point is this. I want everybody to pay attention to because like when you and I get ballots now, I read, I go down every office and I, and, I, and I, it's a pain in the ass. I will say this. I'd ra- There's other things I'd rather be doing with my day. Uh, but when I vote, I'm like, okay, what does this guy stand for? I'll go online. Did this guy do this? And I, and because of all this stuff that's happened, I'm a lot more interested in who these people are. Because once you realize that the Secretary of State can change the election laws and how the electors are elected, yeah. and and he can – this fucking dude that got elected just said the other day – what was it? Was it Texas? Missouri. Which He's, one? The guy who said, I'm not going to, I'm not certifying the election. No, we have no, he, he flat out said, there is no fraud that, that I can find. There no, is no evidence. New Mexico. New Mexico. Cowboys There's, for Trump guy. Cow, but those Can guys I be clear about that really quickly? Um, it was the state, whatever they call Secretary them. Secretary of State. Election no. Board? It was like their election board that was charged with certifying the election for that county. In, well, in, basically for, for New Mexico. In what, New Mexico. What Pence did. They have stacked that, which is what Trump and the GOP has been quietly doing, which mm-hmm. um, someone sounded the alarm about a while ago, yep. that on all in all these low-level, just quiet little mm-hmm. elections, yeah. now all these Trumpers are in these positions of, of power to change the course yeah. of our elections. While we've been arguing about you know bigger stuff yeah the dude that started cowboys for trump that always has an embroidered right there c4t he you can go listen to the audio of him saying i i don't have any proof i don't have any evidence Mm -hmm. i just have a feeling and i have to go with my gut i have to go what i want to be clear about is that he had to call that in to the hearing because he had to be in dc because he was being indicted because he was for his 6th. part of the january yes, he, 6th so, but his gut is full of grits and yeah, fucking that's what i'm saying though is that you we so hitler when hitler okay so hitler did beer hall push basically he basically he did what trump did with january 6th he tried to overthrow the government by force then he spent five years in jail people don't know this but people just think hitler rose up he spent five years in jail yeah. this was a long-term plan in the five years in jail he studied really hard did what he had to do when he came out he realized the only way to win is to elections and actually go start low and then take mm-hmm. power and that's what he did so yesterday i put up on twitter uh what the the history of what hitler did and then you put up what the gop is doing and it's literally the same plan mm-hmm. so people this people say people don't vote in the midterms. The midterms are probably the most important, as we've seen in the last four years, that the Senate decides the president can do what the president can say whatever. I'm going to do this and this and this. And the Senate goes, yeah, hold up. Uh-huh. Hold up. <laughs> so we need 62. We need 62 uh, senators. If you want to get stuff done, people always ask why I'm a Democrat. You know, you're liberal. Blah, blah. And I, I always want to know, uh, and Kinzinger said this. I'm going to repeat Kinzinger. Republicans, what are you afraid of? What are you afraid? What are you afraid is going to happen? Like, honestly, 60 Democrats are in the Senate. We have a majority. What are you afraid of? What's going to happen? Well, we you get health care unions. We get health care unions. Uh, uh, you get a minimum wage increase. Um, minimum wage? Minimum wage. Ra- That's what I, you, I, have. you don't get minimum I, wage. I, I, you don't I, get I, No, I, I have to hold to a minimum wage. You have maximum wage. <laughs> I, <get Yeah>. a <laughs> min- <laughs> I do not need a minimum wage I increase. I think what they <laughs> are afraid of. Speaking That's the name of, of my next special, of minimum shrill, rage. Shrill. That's it. Well, that you, just, you just named my next special, minimum, minimum rage. rage. Oh, I like it. Um, n- speaking of shrill, Jim Jordan. You right. Know, it's, I think, How great are these things without Jim Jordan that and Ted people, Cruz? people, though, just don't want to deal with that, you know? And if you guys did not see Rusty Bauer's testimony, it, yeah. it is the most compelling, painful moving and inspiring testimony they've had yet i i was blown away and stood there at the end watching and i needed to leave the house and just stood in front of the tv with tears in my eyes because they asked him what happened what was the impact and this man who is a very strong christian very firm in his faith um, i don't agree with anything other guy on policy but as a human being and as an american great guy 
Thank you for needing to point that out. Sorry. I, um, very firm in his faith, said that they were driving panel trucks in his neighborhood with large movie screens on them, calling him a speakers. pedophile, mm -hmm. loud speakers mm -hmm. all day and night, harassing his neighbors, one dude with a gun, um, just all this stuff. He And then he talks about his daughter was in the house who was gravely ill and it was terrified her. And she ended up dying on January 20th. She was terminally ill. So that was guys... the end of her life. Yeah. Um, it, oh, all of this stuff. And you really get, uh, you just go watch it. It was just like, wow. And he would still vote for Trump again because he's a hardcore conservative and would vote for the Republican nominee, mm -hmm. but just stood up for what was right. And it just, his, I feel like his testimony turned some of and, the and, stuff. And let me start, let me, you know, your, your point early on in the podcast is kind of well. <laughs> yeah, <can't go. laughs> no, it's well taken. I, you don't even know what I'm going to say. Don't interrupt me. You're to me. No, it's well taken. Uh, Thank you. you. But let's talk about all right. So let's talk about what's going to happen and what what are the Democrats up to and what are the Republicans up to. That's I think it comes down to that. We can keep looking backwards and go. I'm going to vote for the Democrats because these guys were assholes. But what are they doing now? So like if if the if the GOP came out and said because I used to be a Republican, I voted Republican like three times. I was fine with it. Uh, and if these guys came out and said, we're throwing everything out, all these guys, Jordan's gone, Ted Cruz is gone, we have, we've gone down the wrong road. Uh, Mitch McConnell's head finally, he blew up like a puffer fish and exploded. That'd be fine. Uh, <laughs> uh, that was Mitch McConnell. What do you say? I don't know. No one knows what he said. He just said, <laughs> don't make him mad. <laughs> um, let's talk about what they are up for. What are the Republicans and what are the Democrats have? For the Republicans want no regulation. Mm -hmm. So how we have more that's, guns, uh, uh, more gun, more guns for everybody. everybody. Uh -huh. They want. Um, I, I always, I, I always try to ask. The, I just read an article. I, less I, books, more guns, less, less yeah, books. Ban the books. Here's what. Uh, ban. Wait, let me finish. Let, no, don't is this me. Republican? Don't, yes. I'm giving you their ban, what they say is their official platform. Ban books. Ban history. Ban history. Uh, the, the GOP on their platform came out and said they called gay people a gay relationship. In is, Texas. The Texas, in Texas GOP. Abnormal. It's an abnormal human relationship. That's literally in their platform. Whites only. Whites pretty much. Yeah. Six dildos Whites. only. Yeah, only six. Uh, yeah, six limit. dildos. I like they limited the dildos to six. <laughs> Because you could only use one at a time. Like when like, Texas is like, two, what was, two per hole? Is that what that is? <laughs> but wait, you have nose. You got nine holes. Oh, yeah, well, I, you can't put them in that's your true. eyes. So two, three, four, five. Ears. You know what? You got ears. You can put oh, them in your ears. You can put oh, those in your ears. Which I right. sometimes really oh, want to do. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that's seven holes. So they were like, hey, you got to have hey. one to breathe, asshole. Oh, yeah. not, so wait, there was that means there was a, a dildo discussion at one point. Yeah. That means there was there was a deliberation about the dildos. We should do. We'd that like, sketch today would like to bring to the floor <laughs> please <laughs> bill number 4261 dildo enacting law dildo limitation uh so uh, uh we should the do floor, this sketch. the floor is open to debate we believe 25 dildos damn democrats all you want is dildos and <laughs> more dildos <laughs> <laughs> but how did they you mean because uh, and somebody I had to go women that. had to go like uh, guys uh, one we're good with one I'll just get rid of it when I'm used and it's when it's, <laughs> when it's worn down <laughs> seven is obscene seven. six Fine. <laughs> the Amish always had say, way back in our beginnings act in 1776 Martha Washington only had six dildos and we're going to stick to the constitution they were made of wood <laughs> and oh, sheep bone oh, oh. <laughs> Whalebone, whalebone dildos. It was a whalebone dildos. <laughs> this episode brought to you. <laughs> I can't. I just can't segue. I got nothing. <laughs> we, it was gonna go real bad. It was gonna go. Yeah, I have to cut you guys <laughs> off because it you know, does just fall gonna, apart. Yes. Gonna... <laughs> uh, this episode brought to you by Liquid IV. Yay! The other thing that you should have with the Athletic Greens yep. when you have a hangover. Actually, at one point, Ray had to stop me because she said there's, there's sodium in it. Because what it does is basically it's more – it gets your body hydrated faster than water alone. So there's stuff in it that you need. And I was drinking – I was drinking like four a day. I just got a, I got a text this week from – I told you guys about my mom's best friend, Miss Judy, who was having those allergy issues right. and headaches and stuff when I was in North Carolina. 
And she just texted me. It's like I, I have ads going on in my personal life. She texted me. I love the liquid IV. Thank you so much for sharing. I said, you're very welcome. She said, I really think it's helping. And I told you guys that her husband has Parkinson's. Right. And she said um, that he's on it as well. And it seems to be making a big difference. It's obviously not curing Parkinson's. I don't mean that. No. But, but it's he, hydrating him. He's feeling His better. medication was causing some saliva issues and stuff. And so it's made a huge difference for both of them. So she started ordering it in bundles. Um, people, this, don't, people don't understand that keeping yourself hydrated is like changing the oil in the car. You got to keep yourself yeah. hydrated. It keeps your body working right. Mm -hmm. And liquid IV. Since so last night, uh, I had a couple glasses of wine. I had two, and I woke up this morning, felt fine. The difference too that you real I really noticed when I was in North Carolina, but it's same everywhere it's is hot. that when it's hotter yeah. outside you yep. don't realize how much yep. faster you dehydrate when you go outside and you just kind of get headachey or you don't feel well your stomach is but messed up it gets up. rid of that low sometimes you sometimes you'll every you like just it, you don't have a headache that's like a migraine is killing you it just have that low level kind of yeah. feeling crappy mm -hmm. gets rid of it that's what i like about it you all of a sudden you have energy yep. again your digestion is working again it just like you said oil in the car it makes guys, everything work guys we're not kidding we, we've been advertising for these guys a long time we're not kidding we use it we have we we have a lot. We, we love have it. a lot. We try. It's on our suitcases. I, it's, I have the, them in my purse. There's a shelf of them up upstairs. Yeah, yeah I, I'm to the point now where I like. I, I have a flavor. I have flavor preferences now. Oh, oh the, yeah, the I'm apple, I'm apples, grape too. and strawberry. Those are mine. Uh, watermelon and uh, I like the green apple, but I also like the lemon lime. The lemon lime is. Awesome. Oh, there's a new green apple yep. one that's a kombucha. They have a new well, kombucha they took, thing. They took out the the savory of the apple pie, which which it's what's what it needed. Right. So the green apple is awesome. And, but it's also got Com yep. kombucha elements. Yeah. Um, so you just put it in 16 ounces of water. It hydrates you two times faster and more efficiently than if you drink water alone because also it has B3, B5, B6, B12, vitamin C, electrolytes, um, non-GMO, gluten, dairy, and soy-free. Um, it's it's a great product. Um, get Liquid IV in bulk nationwide at Costco. They've got bigger bags now. Or you can get 25% off when you go to liquidiv.com. Use code TITUS at checkout. That's 25 percent off of anything that you order bundles whatever um when you shop better hydration today using promo code titus at liquidiv.com yeah. liquid iv hydration made easy oh, very well, right? that? and the hydration mechanism is called ctt called ctt <laughs> <laughs> christopher todd titus mechanism cellular yeah. transport technology uh, i want to shift gears and we're gonna talk about politics or anything uh i want to talk that about that again we're not going to talk about politics right now. You're I I want to shift gears. Uh, something happened this week that I am very proud of, and everybody at this table is very proud of. Uh, little Miss Rachel Bradley ah. has released her oh, comedy special. I was special. like, what are we proud of? Yes. She, she has released her comedy special. Uh, we it's shot... still being released on all the other platforms, right, but, but Amazon it's... has happened Right. First. So, guys... Uh, she worked on this for 13 years. We we want to talk about you today because you really, and we want to talk about the filming and we want to talk about what happened. So I uh, convinced her to attempt stand-up comedy and she- Against started, my will. Again, well against your will. Wow. Even, even now. <laughs> it's like, it's still, it's still, I don't get on a plane today. I don't want to go. I don't want to go to Toledo. We're going to Toledo. Well, that's the problem. <laughs> You're not taking me to Paris. You're taking me to Toledo. <laughs> We're going to Scotland. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, so yeah. She, Thirteen years in. You know, it's very funny. You know, it's very funny. Is that so? Re recently, like a month ago, I, I said we're, we're doing the gig and and we're talking about comedy. I go, you know, you still haven't accepted you're a comedian, and she burst out laughing because it was true. Right. You still. It's like this is your part time job yep. or something, and yet you're a professional comedian. I'm a full time released... gardener and puppy mom. <laughs> puppy mom. <laughs> but she released a special. Guys, go to Amazon Prime. Uh, it's called Alpha Chick. Uh, we filmed it two weeks before the lock. Lockdown happened, right? Mm -hmm. And we right. knew it was coming. It was February. No, we, were like, we didn't know. Didn't we kind of no, know? No, this was February first or second. We did not know. You had commented on the podcast about them fire hosing the yeah, streets China of was, China. Yeah. What's going on? But we had no idea that it was going to be a pandemic. That it was coming mm -hmm. here. We were we Joking had an after it. party here <laughs> oh, in the true. studio oh, yeah, right. where we were all breathing on each other. And one of the guys who we loved died passed that away week, the next week in march at the beginning of march not from being here but he went home and caught it and passed away and um yeah crazy so the specials had to sit for a while because we were also sitting and then scrambling to kind of pivot yeah. about what we're going to do because yeah. everything was locked down yep 
we um, so I remember that that so it was I think it was the most elaborate set we've ever built, except for Norman Rockwell. I don't because we didn't do I didn't do the production on that one, but what, for our mm-hmm. production company, we we made this giant banner that was that we that the three of us argued about for a long time, and then we finally just decided whatever you want. Right, that's how that works. <laughs> when it's my special, it's what I want. Is it? I so I for two that. weeks, I said, "Here's what I want." And then you would tell Ken, no, 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 do this. And then you guys would send me it's great spin. artwork and I'd go, that's not what I want. And then at the end of week two, you were like, fine, fucking you deal with Ken. And I'm like, that's what I'm trying to do. <laughs> so I talked to Ken and I go, I still want this. Mm-hmm. And that afternoon, Ken sent me that and it was amazing. Well, and- it's, it starts like, it. <laughs> she'll say, here's what I want. I go, oh, okay, got it. And then we'll 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 spin around and go and trend or flip it and uh-huh. turn it around mm-hmm. and then we'll come back to that uh-huh. and, and that's go, where yeah, we yeah, always that's land. <laughs> well, yeah. we had to go through all those other machinations to get exactly what you wanted because the first thing we did wasn't exactly. No. Yeah. Once I told him, here's what I want. He did that. I still same don't, with I still the don't Scotland with artwork. Uh, yeah. he, once I was able to say to him, here's exactly what I want. He's very great out of but, your brain and my brain going okay. Yeah, but you do know that sometimes like we were like, okay, we got to get this done. We got to get this done. We got this done, and we telling you, and you go, uh huh. And no. you did, yes. I, and, then, and then finally I go, all tell right. Tell him. You no, say, me, wait, I said me, don't it say in the beginning. Yet. Let me finish. <laughs> let me finish talking. And then I go, and then I go, all right. And I make something up. I go, this, this, this. And then, I'm, then I get physically and mentally invested and creatively invested in it. And, and you go, no, no, no. And you go, yes. But it, what it does is sometimes I will send you, and you don't know I do this. Once in a while, I will send you something crazy and wrong. Uh, so just so you, so you're like, fuck, and you have to get involved. Cause sometimes for, you for, I have the initial emails it. from yeah. the very beginning where I said, here's what I want. And then you guys went completely rogue, but I, I wasn't here. You guys are together. And then it goes rogue. And then I'm well, like, you, no, no, no. I want this. And oh, um, that one you did where she was screaming. Was that's great. the that one you guys really loved. That you, one. That but was, that yeah. wasn't what I wanted, well, but wanted I did a, love that wanted, artwork. You wanted a circus theme. We made it on something else. Maybe it ended up beautiful the yeah. artwork but the special came out phenomenal we uh guys uh watch this special there's two stories uh, the whole thing is great the there's- opening has billy gardell billy yeah. gardell Brad, yeah. williams, Brad williams christopher titus and elaine, elaine boozler which is crazy yeah um, Which we filmed here. We turned the we turned the shop into a circus. Yeah, to a circus tent, to a sideshow. Oh, yeah, we, we should talk about getting picking up the place where we had to get all of that circus equipment. That oh, was. That was you remember her? Yeah, so it was like going back in time. It's to called a, L.A. Circus. It's kind of out in not, the middle of it's nowhere. Not near L.A. No. <laughs> it's, you think you're gonna you're in a horror show? You're gonna get, be murdered. It yeah. covers there. how many how how big would including oh, across acres. the street. I, I know, ten acres maybe. So it's where they shot a lot of American Horror Story. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. freak show. Yep, that that year. Um, this also that woman, movie with um that movie with um that Bradley Cooper just came out. Oh uh, yeah, Night Nightmare Alley. Yeah, it is wall to wall as far as you can see across the street. Vintage circus, circus. stuff, like crazy stuff, yeah. creepy stuff. She put me in the old box that cuts you in half. Um, it so her she and her husband were trapeze yep. artists that are in the Guinness or he's in the Guinness mm-hmm. Book of mm-hmm. World yeah. Records. They're older now. It is surreal. Yeah. And so when but she wants it's a process. You can't just rent her things until she gets to know you. It's not like going to a junkyard and going, all right, you guys got the clown suits and the yeah. hats yeah, and yeah, you yeah, got yeah. some lights. It's like no first you have to sit down and have lunch. Yes, yes. and yes. they discuss and Coffee. you have to eat what she yes. f- feeds yes. you. Yes. And they talk about all kinds of... Yeah, it, yes. That's when you think you're going to get murdered. It shows it's you the book. It's yes. the beginning of a Stephen King book. For and then the <laughs> yeah. when we went back to drop the stuff off, she did the same thing. She took us on a tour. It was really we cool because cool I am fascinated with vintage freak show stuff. It, I don't know why. It's like yeah. my thing. I love yeah, it. Cool. And um, But Justin Bieber's set designer or costume designer was there that Mm -hmm. day she's Mm -hmm. good friends with them hanging out and i met her well she knows my friend pooch who does audio engineering for bieber Bieber, and kiss and all these big bands and so we ended up hanging out and having a cool conversation what a small world it was just really weird Mm -hmm. and surreal and cool at the same time and i kept wanting to go check on them again because they're there all alone yeah yeah Yeah. so we made we turned that we brought got all that stuff here and we turned this entire thing. We had mulch on the floor. Remember, it looked so cool, you guys. If you see that when you see it the special, watch, look at the opening. You're, you're gonna think you're, you're gonna think, oh my god, we're at a look yeah, at the it's real vintage and know circus that it stuff. Was right here, yeah, yeah. Was, yeah. Yeah, you went and picked up the banners that were yeah. from old circus. Yeah, it was and the, the letters, snake the, charmer the, the little, woman. Yeah, and, the, and Small World. Uh, Noel's Lofgren. There's a cover of one of his albums up front. Another friend of ours where he's got that big, that exact banner. Oh, he's really? in front of it. Yes. 
Yes. Did he, he get it from there? Uh, not from. I, it, it may have been something that he found somewhere else. But it was, a, but but it was the same. The same exact manner. That big fat lady. Really? Yeah, the, fat, huh. the, yeah, the, the big. It was crazy. Uh, so we did that. Then we we set up that that day of the shoot was intense, man. Remember how that was? Yeah, that was a weird. crazy long Cause we, day. Because nothing was working. We got those mm -hmm. lights. You guys don't understand. When it comes, when we see something, as a, the further I get into production from Titus on, you realize that so much stuff is just ragged edge. But looks great. But it's ragged edge. So we got these lights. We got all these giant lights. And when they, we turned them on, they made no sense. Remember those lights, those big mm -hmm. long cans, mm -hmm. and every and it's so funny to watch how people go. You realize what good producers are and what bad producers are, and no one knew what to do. And then we just got that we got the little paper, and it made. It, and now when you see you, those lights are like I watch it, and I go, we did such a good job on that. Besides you being genius, that funny. day of the shoot for the pre thing though was really fun. And I have to say, Billy Gardell refused to take money. Elaine refused to take money. It was like people just came to help. Brad had just had a baby. He yep. had just mm. his and baby had like just been before. born. Yeah. yeah, and he still drove over here for nothing to yep. to do that. Um, Christopher Titus demanded money. I, I got I got pay. I'm getting paid. Yeah. Um, I work my ass off. I, I bought you an iPhone yesterday. Uh, yeah. <laughs> For minimum rage. Oh, yeah, 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 minimum exactly. rage. Um I think Billy too, he just wanted to get in character because he, he decided his character, the carnival barker, smoked. So he oh, just yeah, yeah. I think he was away from he his tells wife. Honey, I had to smoke. Yeah. <laughs> I had to smoke. When we were rehearsing outside, he and I alone, he was like, I gotta get in the character. I was yeah. like, No, you don't, you don't have to. And he was like, Shut up, Ray. Yeah, I do. Um and you were Fucko the Clown, you were insane. A lot of people are not going to know that's you, but it, you were... Hey! Yeah, it was crazy. Um, Fucko the Clown. That PH, was a by fun the way. day. Yeah. That was a fun day. Uh, and, the, and the special came out, so we had so many people show up um, who just love you and uh, and and a bunch of people that 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 had never seen you and it you smoked it two shows, uh, so go to, guys go to Amazon Prime. Uh, it's, I think it's up two ninety nine and you can rent special. it for one ninety nine. Two ninety nine for HD, or you can purchase it for, for eight ninety nine. Yeah, um, and review it, review it. We'd yeah, like please to hear, review it. It helps. Like, we'd like to hear what you say. Yeah, yeah about the special. And uh, and if you don't feel like writing stuff, just if you watch it, make sure you put in stars because it uh, helps me out. There's two stories that the whole thing is great. There's two stories that that I watched go from zero to a thousand. Uh, Rocket Club. Which was so most comedians when you when you work with build a set, you build a set to one bit at the end, like you know, hit song too. you save the hit yeah, for yeah. the end, right? Mm -hmm. So Ray's got all this great material. And then there was this 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 story Rocket Club she'd been working on for a long time. You know, it was one of the first long, long form stories you told. And it got to this place where it was a fucking monster, monster story. It's weird because I miss that. I don't miss any of my material. I'm I've so moved on to this show about mom, but Rocket Club. I miss that story. Rocket Club is such a great story. Then she told the story. We were talking about that audition that one day, uh, O Face, and you got to remember oh, yeah. it, 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 who this girl looks like and who she is is so different. Uh, I didn't know what an O Face. She was. didn't know what O Face was. So this is so, so at an audition. But don't give it away. I'm not at an audition. Uh, Go asked, watch what I do. She's when asked, asked to do O Face. It's, <laughs> it's and and so Rocket Club was a monster. Any comedian worth his salt would have loved to close any special with it. That's not the closer, is it? Mm -mm. O Face is the closer, which tops Rocket Club, which is almost impossible. Go to Amazon Prime. At my shows, I would use Rocket Club or O Face as the closer. Yes. I couldn't do both, but in the special, I do. Alpha Chick, guy, Rachel Bradley, Alpha Chick. Go to Amazon Prime, rent it. Uh, rate it. Please and, rate it. And uh, and thanks, guys, for, for the many years. Unless you're having a grumpy day and then don't rate it. Wait until you're having a happy day. You can't. You, you watch it. You won't have a grumpy day. The, the special is so good. I know so much about you. Oh, my God. The guy on the cross. Oh, yeah. Oh, there's like, like I'm look, like, like. You loved that bit. You're going to look. Well, that was one of the first bits you ever wrote. And I told you <laughs> when you wrote it, I said, you, you're you not a good enough performer to pull this bit off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Guy on the cross, when I, when he entered me for that comedy competition is uh, the bit that I did. I did some jokes before that. Yeah. And then I tried it. I had written, I had this idea about going to Christian school. And it was really like something in my heart that I wanted to say mm -hmm. about the suppression and the shame and all this crap being growing up in a Southern Baptist area and people try and push into you from mm -hmm. the time you're a kid and especially also being Southern and a female. 
And so I had this concept, you know, about going to this Christian school and that my principal held school assembly nailed to a cross and he holds assembly. And then he deals with all of the really hypocritical tropes of, of that. Well, it shows him to be hypocritical. You basically, it's such a great comment on not religion itself, because I think religion itself, but it's a comment on how people have bastardized. Yes, that's what it was all about, which he actually says. Right, right. right. Or or I said at the end. And um, I didn't know how to perform. It was my first time ever on stage. And (laughs) I remember being at the annex at the Ice House in Pasadena. (laughs) Papa's in the room. Come on. (laughs) Me and and the other 23 people. Yeah, and I I can still remember the table right right here and this dude's face who laughed at most of, most of the stuff I did and encouraged me. And I remember when he laughed loudly, I was like, what? Yeah. Uh-huh. Right. yeah okay. Oh, All right. <laughs> oh. And I did guy in the cross and I, it was, how long was I on stage? 10 minutes total? Eight minutes? Eight, eight minutes. Eight minutes. It was too long. It was yeah. too much. And about halfway through the bit, you, I have a picture of it and we have video somewhere. I started here loud and proud, and by the end, I'm melting. <laughs> I'm like this, and I'm trying to finish this bit that I've written, and I and you, you can gave see up. You, you, you can see you physically give up. <laughs> but I'm I, like, help me. I said we got in the car. I go. You, you ended up low five Jesus. <laughs> yeah, you, yeah. you, you were ascending or something. <laughs> you were like normal Jesus, and you were low five Jesus. It was crazy. <laughs> I was ready to go, but you came in second. I did. Here's is so, and you get a, and you were so upset on the way home, and I told you I I, I was. I, you were upset on the way home. You were excited about that. You were, yeah, you were like- oh, About I, what? I, at the end, about that last bit, you said I kind of gave up at the oh, end. Oh, I was. And I, I said, don't remember. Uh, you it was were, a you, blur. You said, you were like, the jokes worked, the first jokes worked. I don't think, and you said, I'm not doing that bit anymore. I don't, that that uh, uh, guy in the cross bit is not going to work. And I went, no. You're, <laughs> first time ever. I it's said, not going to work. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Throwing it out. I said, you're not good enough to pull that bit off yet. And as we went through the years of you doing it, did you, I mean, you watch the end of it now. It's like, it's a bad, it's badass. It's like, it's a level of comedy that it's not, I was listening to somebody driving home from the cabin the other day and it was a, it was a, a female comic and I don't know why it started out talking about dicks and it just kept going. And about three minutes into it, I turned it off because I'm like, I, like if you're not, say, listen, dick jokes have been done uh, for a thousand years. Stop. Just guys, come up. Let me hear about you. Who are you? And guy comics do it too. And you don't. And it makes me really proud to be a have part of your career. You know? I got stuff to say about dicks. Hmm? Yeah, but it'll be insightful. <laughs> <laughs> it'll be in haiku form uh this episode brought to you by sunday speaking of me being a professional gardener and yorkie mom and comedian as a part-time job uh i was out this morning i haven't been able to sleep i'm having surgery on friday a major surgery and i'm not sleeping now because i guess my brain while i'm like hey everybody my brain is going ah mm-hmm. um we just had a meeting with the doctor yesterday yeah, I had pre-op yesterday and blood and EKG and all that stuff. So, And we uh, heard the horror of what he's going to do. Yeah, <laughs> which he tossed off quite casually. Yeah, he was like, I've done this a thousand yeah. times. Yeah, but it's, you're doing then it Then we're going to yank this out of here and cut this hole, put a camera in there, put the, a shovel. Yeah, so uh, <laughs> Jack, yeah. The, I have not not sleeping and so i got up this morning yesterday at six this morning at seven which is weird for a comedian time yep and even a part-time comedian Mm -hmm. and groucho and i the farmer went out into the yard and we're just kind of having a snow white moment in the backyard show his tie he's he he went to the nail salon with me today and so he dresses up for that (laughs) um and so it's just amazing what our lawn became from what it was, especially considering that back lawn, especially considering that California is in a drought and I'm not watering it. I'm allowed to water it twice a week now. And, um, and you're very responsible because uh, some of our neighbors are going batshit crazy watering their lawns. Yes, they are. In the middle of the night. <laughs> the They're all yeah. out yeah. there with their hoses <laughs> at one o'clock in the morning. Um, they, got, they got like, like the ninja like, suits on. They're like Shh. night vision out yeah. there. Yeah. <laughs> thing about Sunday I love is because you just saw him, it doesn't have things that will hurt him or kill him. It's got things like seaweed and iron and molasses that are actually good for your lawn. Make a massive difference, but don't make you sick. And won't don't hurt make your, your animals sick. Yeah. Um, and 
it takes the guesswork out of it. You don't have to know what you're doing. They tell you. I, I just got a box last month. They sent it and they put pictures with it. Here's how you do this. Here's what it does. Here's when you do this one. Here's what it does. And um, and you that can, doesn't happen. Like you go to you go to Home Depot and you get you know whatever whatever company selling. Whatever oh, I was winging it before. Some Monsanto yeah, we're thing. Yeah, I was yeah, yeah, winging yeah. it. And it just, it's got a skull and crossbones on the Why? I'm not putting this in my lawn now. But our lawn, but the molasses. I mean, our lawn tastes like pancakes. <laughs> Thank you for the bunnies. <laughs> Do the bunny. <laughs> that's what they do. Why? <laughs> they always. That's. The, I was reading about it. That's their whole defense mechanism is freezing. That's what bunnies yeah. do to yeah. survive. They freeze in place. I'm like, they just maybe, contemplate. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> no one can see me now. No one can see me now. All right. Danger's gone. <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> They're the dumbest animals ever. <laughs> they, when we were in Arizona, they had rescue bunnies, floppy-eared bunnies at the rescue place there, and I wanted to get one, and I feel like I'm wearing him down because when I suggested it, you said, all right, whatever. Yeah, there's a point. I'm just, it, look, it, there's a, it, it's a Only lamb, I a pig, or a bunny. That's, I mean, it, there I time. said, no, a pig, a llama. Oh, God, there's llamas. A lamb is not a bad what's idea. The, what's oh, the llama with the weird head? The alpaca. <laughs> alpaca. I want one of those in the backyard. Uh, you want those things vicious? No, you don't want those. I thought they, they were. Spit on they you. can't and they be that cute. They also have AIDS or on you. No. Yeah, it's not the one. AIDS. Yeah, that's where it came that's from. That's not a thing. They anyway, definitely... we have the lawn, thanks to Sunday, yeah. for all these animals to graze <laughs> and have their own personal oasis. Thank you, Sunday. Now we just got to get the animals. But I will wait till after Scotland. I do need you guys to make me really wealthy from my special though so that i can afford to come off the road and have and ride along rachel do yeah, little's yeah, yeah. farm <laughs> guys i want to be very clear about sunday uh I, I i like when things i like when things are easier i've done so many things and built so many things over the years and a lot of times i'm making it up as i go whether it's working on cars and sunday gives you the plan from a, from a to z man Love it. how to do it they know what your what your soil is made out of they actually do a test soil before they send you stuff and then all of a sudden you get a plan and all you gotta do is do it you know, I'm not. Don't a big... have to leave your house either. Yeah, and it uses less water, right? You don't yes. have to water yeah, as yeah. much. And That's well, huge. and we can't, which it's helping put those nutrients in our lawn when we can't water it so often. Uh, right now, Sunday is offering our listeners twenty percent off full what? season plans. Start at just one twenty nine, and you can get twenty percent off of that when you visit getsunday.com slash Titus at checkout. 20% off your custom plan for your specific yard at getsunday.com slash Titus. Check it out. The hedge has gotten crazy. Check it out. The hedge has gotten What crazy. happened to him? Check it out. Check it out. Yeah, Angel she, Salazar. He's not very, yeah, we, he, we, I've never seen a dude, Do him more and Pablo, cocaine. cocaine and kill as hard. As, 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 as <laughs> dude would the, kill. Yeah, kill. Kill, but Same man, he would years. come in town. Angel Salazar was in Scarface. Yep, he, he played was Chewy. Chewy, uh -huh. the little henchman. Uh, mm -hmm. and I got to work with him very when I started. He was, was a comic? He was a comic. Yeah. When oh. I was running Funny Bone, He's he would come through. I would book him because he would do, he would kill. He would do the same act forever. Little tiny guy, eccentric AF. Yep. And was he would do this while he would talk to me and look me up and down. I don't know why he's this tall. <laughs> we know why. He would, everyone yeah. I would introduce In him brains, to. We all we, do we, that yeah, when we well, talk yeah, yeah. to you. And his catchphrase on stage is, check it out. Check it he out. had a business card with Al Pacino's picture on it. Because <laughs> he was in Scarface. But by the, way, by the way, this is 25 years yes, after Scarface. This was in 2004. Yeah, is... He would hand the card to the server at the restaurant I would take him to. He'd hand it to the driver. He would hand it to people at the club. Everyone mm -hmm. and everyone I introduced him his, to. His even, Wikipedia says check it out. His Wik, It's on his Wikipedia. Even like the it's owner would thing. come in town. Everyone that I would say, oh, this is Angel. And he would give Al Pacino's business card. And then he, he would say, do you know what I can score? And I would be like, Angel, stop, stop. I need to score, baby. What you talking about? <laughs> he would ask the waitress. I would take him for lunch before the show. He would ask the waitress. Score is she... for drugs. Yes. We would ask everyone for cocaine. <laughs> I was like, you can't do that. Angel was, really... Angel was quite a talented actor. I, I do remember he was great. He, he was in uh, Boulevard Nights, uh, Walk Proud, Where the Buffalo Roam. Wow. I didn't know that. Uh, Stranger and Watch Scarface, The Wildlife, Sylvester, Hot to Trot. Uh, that was with- um, Is he still performing? Do you guys Punchline. know? He was in Punchline. Those are all cocaine movies. No. 
there or not? Car- <laughs> Carlito's way. Uh, uh, granted. Okay, okay. okay. Carlito's way. Uh, Blow. He was a trip. Uh, he, and, uh, he really, I, I worked with him a lot. And he was, he actually does have on his Wikipedia, He sp- they spelled it Shuck It Out. Yeah, with this S-H. Yeah. Shuck It Out. <laughs> Shuck It Out. Uh, he was a trip. One time I went to pick he, him up from the Memphis airport. <laughs> and he's standing in the middle of the road, like totally blocking traffic. And he, he's like, f- how tall is he? He's like five, five one, maybe. Five maybe. Two, print size. Uh, and he is in a full safari outfit. With the that. shorts, the khaki shorts, uh, <laughs> the little khaki shirt, the hard khaki hat. hat. Uh-huh. I don't know why. I my friend Kayla, who he looked was like managing the guy that, that club, raised Curious George. <laughs> we pulled up and we were hysterical. Curious of course, George, yeah. it to him, you know, which is why I think he was sort of fascinated by us because we would make fun of him to his face and he would just be like, "Hey, baby," like he didn't care. But he wore a full safari outfit on that plane, that Southwest flight that day some comics are crazy but but a lot the thing of about, comics the thing crazy. about angel though angel would get on stage do a show walk on with a, a boom box killing it with like mm-hmm. just he walk on it and, yes, and then yes. by the end of his show he was in his underwear dancing yes he would as, get naked oh he oh uh he would do he did he, prince, he did the b- right? prince and he did tina turner that was phenomenal oh that's you remember right his tina with turner? the wig i forgot t- about would, that i love that you saw him in the 80s and i saw him in the 2000s and we're like yeah that, <laughs> i remember that closer yeah, but, but, yeah. But, but also denny johnson another comics there was a thing that comics used to do they'd get their 45 minutes that slayed mm-hmm. and because america is so big they would do it. They would do, do it for, for decades. Years. Yeah. Oh man, he quit tweeting in 2013. I wonder why. Hmm. Where we got to find out how Titus. Angel is. <laughs> Isn't that weird? I don't know. I don't see any. I don't see any gigs coming up or anything like that. What happened to Angel Sounds? Are hi. This is Dateline. I'm Christopher <laughs> Titus. With me today, the Highlander and the Bombshell. What <laughs> happened to Angel Sound? So let's go to the cameras and Instagram. Check it out. Check it out. <laughs> <laughs> Leaving it in. Angel Salazar. If you're in Staten Island, go see him. Check it out. If you're in Staten Island, check it out. This I don't is know. Worse how we than got the hateful that. eight guys. This <laughs> segment. It, 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 we, is, just did, we just talked about a comic. That half hour barely, ad does, for Angel <laughs> Salazar. Salazar. I don't know why. Yeah, <laughs> we're, we're shortening this. I'm t- we're shortening why this. did we start talking about it? You did. You did. I don't know. But why? <laughs> I, I don't. I have no concept of why. I don't know. Something why. reminded me of, about him yeah, asking we down, for cocaine because you don't want the attention on you that, for yeah, Alpha Chick. Yeah. No, we were talking about Sunday after Alpha Chick, and Can then Angel this? Salazar. Uh, Somehow, I went from Sunday lawn care <laughs> to, to yeah. Angel Salazar. What were we? I don't know. I don't know. Anyway. Uh, uh, you're going to be at Tommy T's. You just booked this date in Pleasanton, California. Yep. You haven't been there in a very long time. July 8th and 9th, Friday, Saturday only. And then... Four shows. Yeah. Then you're going to be July 14th, Des Moines Funny Bone. July 15, 16, Omaha. July 17, Kansas City Improv. Right. You have now also just added a date in Vegas at Wise Guys, July 22, 23, four shows only, Vegas. And then that Sunday, you come home and you've added Oxnard, Levity Live and Oxnard for one show only, then on deck Toledo. Oh, shit. Yep. Do you know why? <laughs> July 27th, Toledo, July 28th it's through great. 30th. Favorite club, Columbus Funny Bone. You know why, guys? We're going to Scotland. So Rachel and I were blessed enough to be able, uh, and she's worked so hard for so, so long, uh, but I've worked harder for longer. <laughs> um, but we got accepted into the Scotland Fringe Festival, and I need as many laps around this. The, the, are, you, are you going to any of these gigs, depending on how you're feeling? So I, I, you're going to need to. Yeah, you're yeah. going to need to. You know, I'm I'm gonna be fine. I I got yeah, enough work where I'm, I'm gonna screwed. hate. I'm totally gonna sleep screwed. for four days in Scotland. I'm gonna throw in a major <laughs> surgery right before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> get that done. <laughs> Shouldn't yeah. be a problem. Then I'll write the show. Yeah, 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 I'll yeah, figure yeah, it yeah, out. Yeah, then she's got to write the show after the surgery, get it finished, and then take it to It'll Scotland. It'll be fine. You're basically gonna be workshopping it yes. in Scotland, yes, the Fringe Festival, exactly. Which which you know, great because I'll be there with you because we're, we're we're at different times, uh-huh. and I'll be making notes every night. And mm-hmm. by the end of it, it'll be great. Thank you. By the time we have to leave Scotland, you sure will be- Man, our first gig when we get back to the States is going to be bumping. Banging, yeah, yeah <laughs> banging. We're doing the show every- Guys, we're doing the show every night for 30 days. Uh, so Carrying Monsters, which is already getting good. Uh, we just did uh, Utah. Can I say that Keith over at Salt Lake and the whole crew at, the, at Salt Lake Wise Guys, great jobs. Uh, it was, we had some, but man, Utah is such an interesting audience. Mm-hmm. They are, they're, they're conservative. Married but, to each other? 
there, yeah, there's oh, many. There's, there's many sister wives. Guy. A lot of sister wives. <laughs> and then the rest. The so one guy, and there was a bunch of wives drinking. <laughs> um, uh, but we, they're so really smart and polite, and they laugh hard. Yeah. And and they're not. They're usually a really. It wasn't fun Maryland. Audience. Let's just be clear. It oh, wasn't yeah. fucking Maryland. They are usually a really fun audience in Salt Lake City, and you wouldn't guess that just by th- hearing about Salt Lake City. But we always enjoy going there because of the audience. But also up for mocking them, like the, yeah, they love when you make Mormon jokes. You can Mormon mm-hmm. joke, but then also like we were doing because uh, climate change is coming. They said the Great Salt Lake is drying up, so they hear. So here's the bad news: it's going to screw up all the snow. And uh, in the next ten years, and uh, arsenic off the lake is going to start blowing into Utah. So <laughs> that'll clean things up. <laughs> That's why I was like, I thought Jesus liked you with your plates right. and all that. Right? Yeah, yeah. They love yeah. that they you chose know the about the plates. They were or like, the yes, or the magic underwear. The magic so underwear. Like, they oh, love. Yeah. yeah. When you comment, we on- feel seen. And we wish we weren't seen. <laughs> oh, that's the rapture. Oh, I get it. Oh, I see. No, <laughs> it's all part of the plan. It's all part of the plan. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Aren't there several heavens? Though, in the Mormon faith, seven. There's we'll seven. have to have Ashley Cashman. Everybody has their own heaven. There's even the Muslim us. heaven where there's seventy-two virgins. Mm-hmm. Um, you know that. Just, I mean, that was Bill. Bill work. came up with but that. What a lot of work that Ugh. would be. There's just seventy-two. That's crying. Yeah, crying, and I don't know what I'm doing. Stop. Don't no, stop. they no. Stop. At, <laughs> at that age, the, ow, ow, ow. That's that's. <laughs> that's a lot of angel hymens. <laughs> <getting back. laughs> Angel Hyman. Gotta go. By now. the way, who used to tour uh, with Angel Salazar? <laughs> See, without me bringing up Angel Salazar, you could not have closed with that joke. Mm-mm. All right, guys, uh, thank you so much for watching and listening. Uh, please, again, go to Amazon Prime to see Rachel's special. Review Don't, it. Don't re- forget to review, review it. it. Review it, review it, review it. And, um, and right before we go any further, I would like to end today's show with... Highlanders fun fact. Yeah. <laughs> a cornflake in the shape of Illinois sold on eBay for $1,350. God, we're a stupid species. Oh See? Gosh. Aren't all aren't all cornflakes in the shape of Illinois? Yes. Exactly. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Stop being dumb. Yeah, boy, that's yeah, all going, I have to stop say. Stop being dumb. That, that, you, thank you. By the way, that's our next t-shirt. Stop, stop being, being dumb. dumb. Uh, Mar- Marjorie Taylor Greene. Julie, see, inflation is good for us. Then people don't buy these cornflakes for $1,000. She She's did- now saying that there is a great tampon shortage because all of the tampons are being put in men's bathrooms for trans people. I'm sorry, what? What? Yeah. Like, so my question is, how, like, do Republicans go... Why are these dumb people? What I heard about her, they wanted Madison Cawthorn out. He was loud and obnoxious and didn't bring anything to the table. And he also gave up the cocaine orgy thing. She's loud and obnoxious, Mm -hmm. but when she does it, she fundraises millions. And that's why they're not, I read this whole opinion thing on that they're not going to get rid of her. She'll be around. Bobert may go, but she'll stay because she raises a crap ton of money. But she's. She makes Ted Cruz look like, oh, thank God it's Ted Cruz. Right. Makes him look normal. Yeah, she normalizes yeah, like, Ted Cruz. Like, yeah. I don't want to say that about before we go to that. the hearings. People pay attention to the hearings because the one thing you're not noticing, and, and I, I I woke up the other day to it. I was like, oh, shit. There's no one screaming. Oh, yeah. There's no one grandstanding. They're just mm-hmm. saying, they're asking questions. They're talking to witnesses. We're getting Nothing facts. for the cameras. There's no- It feels like the, a normal presidency. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, there's like, no, what kind of- blah, blah. There's none of that going- Yes, it feels like- There's, there's some the, normal complaints. For the first mm-hmm. time, Congress is doing what, when I was a little kid, it did. Yeah. They had actual hearings where nobody was being, it was, it's not, it hasn't been a clown show. Yeah. yeah. And the witnesses are able to finish sentences. It's really amazing. Yeah. It's what our government should look like. Mm-hmm. And people, vote every time. If you don't, we lose this. I think uh, I never real, I never thought, you always think America is this big giant snowball that's non, that's unstoppable. And it is not true. They, yeah. they're, they're working on it. Hitler did it. Hitler did if it to Germany. If you do that thing, oh, I don't vote because I don't like any of them or it won't, my vote won't matter. That's, you're the problem. 
And you not voting is a vote for these crazy GOP people who are trying to strip you of your constitutional rights. And here's the proof rights. of that. Here's the proof of that. Um, so they were asking why Trump oh, yeah. keeps saying that my vote, my vote, my I, 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 it was it was fake. Well, if the vote was fake, then why did all these Republicans win? Well, Bill Barr and someone else no, said this. It was Raffensperger. Raffensperger Secretary, said. Raffensperger. Raffensperger. The reason, Nobody the reason. can say his name all through the hearing. Benny Thompson would say Mr. Raffensperger's curse. <laughs> <laughs> he put three S's in it, and you can see Raffensperger <laughs> just like. Swim <laughs> every time but tried to keep it together it's uh, raffensperger it's yeah. on the plate yeah. <laughs> um, Read he said, in the last year as secretary of state and he's campaigning again he has traveled all over the state of georgia he's been reviewing these election results and what happened was like twenty eight thousand to thirty three thousand voters twenty eight thousand did so. not vote for mm -hmm. the president they voted down ballot but they did not put anything in for president because he didn't say this, but why that would be is they did not want to support Donald Trump, but they couldn't bring themselves to vote for a Democrat. Mm -hmm. So what that resulted in was him losing by that number of votes. Because they didn't fill out their presidential ballot because they couldn't even, t they couldn't take the bitter taste of voting for Donald Trump. And you know what? That totally explains it. I, I When I heard that, I was like, oh, and it did two things. It explained it and it gave me hope yeah. That these that that it's some that deep somehow, down yeah. these people are like I can't well, we can't. Well, Ann Barr is the one that said in Pennsylvania that Trump was the weak link on the Republican ticket. Right. That he was consistently losing, whereas the down ballot Republicans were getting votes, and that was one mm -hmm. of the things that triggered Trump was that a lot less people voted for him than voted for these other GOP. They couldn't even bring themselves yeah. to fill in the bubble. And he right, can't right. fathom that they would vote for those GOP people, but they wouldn't vote for him. So they must have been stolen and given to Biden. Except the same ballot. It's on one ballot. Yeah. Ran the machine, so, yeah. Right now I yeah. get it. But it also gave me faith that, oh, there is people on the. Re so, pe so all you Democrats out there that are listening know that there's a bunch of other people. Again, they couldn't bring themselves to vote for Biden, but they sure as hell wasn't going to vote for Trump. And that gives me a little hope. At least, oh, they do have a conscience. Oh, okay. there's something That's that people are yeah. seeing through him. Somewhere. They're not as yeah. dumb as the loud people. They're not. I mean, they're not dumb. They're not like it's they're not these people. We're going to drag your ass into the street on January 6th. And again, I kept asking Ray, where does this go? What happened on January 7th? Had they accomplished it? Do you think you right. and me? You and you and I are in a car with wet gaunt guns, and we're driving to Washington D.C. to deal with it. That's what we've that, talked about this before. They think they're still going to be able to pop into Starbucks drive-through and grab their the latte, day, yeah. and it's not. It's going to be civil war. Oh, Things will be burned down. Yeah, It'll totally. look like Ukraine. People, yeah. there will be fighting in the streets. And that's not who we are, man. We, you know, the the peaceful transfer of power is something that we pride ourselves on. As Ronald Reagan said, and keep people brought it up, it's a miracle yeah. every four years that we have a peaceful transfer. Yeah, of power and that's what sets us world. apart from other yeah, countries. Except it doesn't now uh because I, I i mean what so 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 150 million people you were going to take over and think we were going to what just watch Let it continue to watch tv right. yeah you and i were just going to keep doing these right no we were we were go, we were taking off we right. were late so i'm gonna babe, suit up yeah hey suit up no, that's what happened i don't get it we, we all got to figure it out but again it was great to hear that the republicans that so many republicans just couldn't bring themselves to vote for trump and that gives me hope now, what will happen is eventually the Republicans will get it together and they'll be they'll say they'll get rid of all the, the bullshit. And what will happen is they'll get someone like smart, like Cheney or Kinzinger. And we'll, and they still won't. We st they'll still want to vote against regulations. And but they'll be competent. And, and then and then we'll get back to normal. And these hearings. That's the right. other thing that's giving me hope. It's right. like, OK, yeah. and that's why we're getting say, something done. They're and fascinating. Back to the beginning. These hearings. And when you say that's why when you say I'm uh, I, I'm I'm. Pro Biden, no matter what it is, that's not true. I didn't. Say but I that realize we're in a place right now where we have to make sure that this guy maintains until he's until until we get out of this. We're not out of this yet. You agree with that? After seeing these hearings, we agree we're not out of this yet. Oh, we're not out yet. Yeah. But I'm hoping it will turn the tide. Yeah. It does feel like it. Mm -hmm. uh, them uh, all those three agencies subpoenaing all of those fake electors yesterday felt like, okay, something's happening. Now today, Jeffrey Clark, you know, something's happening. Well, it's it not like just hearings where we're hoping there's a change. There's, there are actual, oh, there is an investigation going on yeah, behind yeah. the scenes. I read this great opinion piece about, um, from a former Watergate prosecutor who says that the Georgia um, prosecutor is gonna be the one to take Trump down that that is where he made the biggest mistake. Yeah. And that woman ain't taking no shit.
Yeah, we have. Yeah, yeah. Trump, Trump's nemesis are any black, strong black woman. Yeah, that, Letitia that, James. Yeah, yeah. Letitia, that's yeah. It's yeah, like, he's, he's, uh, that would love that. I would love that finally. That'd if, be awesome. Yeah, um, and then you've got Lady Ruby and Shay, the poll workers whose lives he ruined that testified this week. Um, and all they did was vol- his, her mom volunteered to help. And she loved working for the polls, worked there for nine years. And there on the video where he made up that there was a suitcase pulled out from under the table, which was actually a sealed ballot box. And then Giuliani said that her mom handed her a, 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 a USB drive and they asked her what it was. And she said it was a ginger mint. And her, their so, lives have been destroyed. They, they had to leave their own homes because the FBI said they weren't safe. Death threats. One person said to her, you're lucky that it's 2020 and not ni- 1920. Fucking dirty it, lying it, criminals. But here's the thing. Uh, here's the thing. We have got to get back to a place where we, we don't have to agree on politics, but we have to agree that I mean, on this country, we have mm-hmm. to agree on uh, some basic set of rules mm-hmm. and facts that we used to. Mm-hmm. But this dipshit, nope, elections are rigged. Well, all he did, did what Hitler did, which is you put doubt into everybody and all of a sudden they're like, yeah, we can't trust anything. Well, yeah, you can. People don't understand. If they want to shut us down, they then there's no tax money. It's chaos, and they lose their fucking phony baloney jobs, and none of them want to lose their phony baloney jobs. Yeah, it's the dumbest shit ever. Guys, be an American first. Be uh, you know, country first. Uh, all right, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. This was a fun one. It was a good one. You called me out on some shit, and I didn't like it at all. And I'm still right. For myself, the lovely bombshell Ray and the Highlander. Later. Peace out. There can be anyone. Wow, you guys are good. We we, know who's running shit.